Good morning, Wes Carter. Hopefully you've had a good week so far. We have tons of announcements to go over, so please listen closely. All sophomores, juniors, and seniors interested in ordering a class ring will be talked to on Monday, so make sure that if you are interested, you listen carefully for the information on that. On Tuesday, Upward Bound will be having their first meeting for this year. And on Wednesday, there will be an Alive at 25 from 4 to 8. If you're interested in the course, go to the website to register. It's on aliveat25.us. I'm so happy I finished my Alive at 25 already. Yeah, me too. Even though it took four hours, I'm glad I got it out of the way. Many benefits from coming, come from taking the course, so please take it if you have your permit or your intermediate. Friday, there will be a pep rally. A pep rally? Yes, a pep rally. I love pep rallies. Obviously, the senior class will be getting the spirit stick. Absolutely. Anyways, let's take a look at the lunch menu. Man, I love the chili and the grilled cheese, Jasmine. I don't stay for lunch, but if I did, I would stay for the chili. What's next again? The sports. Oh, yeah. Let's see what sporting events we have this week. Welcome to the sports. <laughs> Come support the members of the West Carter golf team. Their senior night is on the 16th at Hidden Cove at 6.30. The boys' soccer team will be traveling to Greenup County and playing at 6 o'clock on the 12th. Boys' soccer will be playing at 11 a.m. on the 14th at home. The volleyball team is taking on Elliott County at home on the 12th. JV plays at 6 and Varsity at 7. On the 16th, they're going to Fairview to play Fairview. JV plays at 6 and Varsity plays at 7. Our volleyball team plays Greenup County on the 17th. JV at 6, Varsity at 7. You can record. What's up, Wes Carter? This is your QB2, Jake Carter. This Friday, we'll be taking on Floyd County Central at home. The theme is spooky. Be there, be square. I'm so excited for the tailgate this Friday. Me too. We're grilling out. The burgers will have day seasoning, and if you haven't had it yet, you'll definitely have to show up for this one. Day seasoning is really good. Let's see what it will look like for the tailgate. On to the weather. Well... Looks like it's going to be another hot one this week. Our high is going to be 87. Might get some mowing in. Yep. Yep. Uh-huh. You know, I've heard that these environmentalists believe that there's a big electromagnetic plate within the surface of the moon that attracts to the magnetic in the Earth's core, making the Earth spin faster, rising the temperatures through thermal convection. Dale, there's no gosh dang magnet in the Earth's core. That's what they want you to think. Man, that makes no sense, man. Man, when I go out and rope, gosh dang, it's so cold, man. Even though it's December time, man, it's still so cold, man. I don't get what you're saying about this heating up, man. It's so cold, dang, dang man. It's supposed to rain a little this week, too, isn't it? Yeah, I heard it's supposed to drizzle a little. Sunday and Monday. Oh yeah, on rainy days I like to lay on the couch, eat pork rinds, drink my diet sweet tea, and watch the Golden Girls by myself. I'm so lonely. Man, it's getting depressing, man, man. We should go inside the house, man. Go look at the truck, man, man. Go to somewhere else, man, man. Let's get out of here, gosh dang, man. Yep. 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 Uh-huh. So glad the weather will be nice. Let's see who Claire has for Comet Spotlight. This week's Comet Spotlight is Gracie Nolan. She's a sophomore here at West Carter and in her second season as a member of the volleyball team. So Gracie, what are your goals for yourself and the team this season? So my goals is perfecting in a skill of practice ever since I've played. And I think serving is mine, so like I always want to be consistent with my serve. Like I've always wanted a hard serve, and I'm just working on consistency. So I always like get it over and am able to just keep going. And team is being able to get along and working together, and we've set an amount of goals we want to, like amount of wins that we want to 
to win and teams that we want to win against and team bonding. That's great. We look forward to seeing you and the team achieve those goals. What's some advice you would give to someone who's maybe interested in volleyball or looking to join the team or maybe just a team in general? Practicing with a person that's more skilled than yourself. Playing with somebody that's like the same level as you or just now joining a team, you're not going to learn as much from it. So for myself, I practice with my sisters because they're college athletes. So I practice with them and I learn from them and then I learn from my own mistakes. Joining a team is like really nerve wracking and nervous. And you're going to walk in like, oh my gosh, nobody's going to like me. They're going to think I suck. But you got to know that everybody's there to learn. So just get used to it and be open about it. This concludes this week's Comet Spotlight. Back to you guys. Here's our new segment, Weekly Wisdom. Hey, did you know that when you're learning something new, it's better to go through it slowly? If you go through it slowly, you're going to go through it usually with less mistakes, which means you're doing it more smoothly. And to do things smooth, you can usually do them faster. So consider this, slow is smooth and smooth is fast. That applies to a lot of different things in our lives. I'm Jasmine McLeese. And I'm Addie Lyles. That's it for the news. See you next week. Bye. Wait, I, my brain came Yeah. Out.